morning folks now we all remember the quote from the movie the way well the captain Henri said to Tom you walk the Camino for yourself just for yourself but that doesn't mean that you have to walk alone now you can walk the Camino alone, with a partner, or in a group. Neither is better than the other. Neither is good or bad at all. Your experience will be different. Now, the unbeatable advantage of walking alone is you start thinking of yourself, because you have no distraction. At home it doesn't work. You're always busy with work, grocery shopping, cleaning your apartment, going to the gym. You're always busy. There's no time. On well, Camino you don't have that. Just walk, eat, sleep, repeat. And you simply cannot avoid thinking. You can be alone at home. Think about yourself, about your life. And that's different. When you're alone at home, all of your negative thoughts, negative emotions are circling around in your mind over and over again. And you probably don't get to a conclusion. And you get depressed. The Camino is different. In the Camino, you are also <laughs> circling your negative thoughts but on the Camino you have other people and those people make you want to change maybe you come to the conclusion that the life that you're living at the moment is not your life you deserve better you deserve something else that's what the people do to you on the Camino and that's why and many people tell me, why do you always walk the French way? Why you don't walk the St. Olaf's way or so many beautiful Caminos in Germany? I know. And I did. But it's, it's different. The people, the magic on the Camino is only in Spain. Otherwise, it's just a nice hike. Now walking with a friend, that's awesome. Did it once with my friend Tilo in 2016. And we had such a lot of fun. It was amazing. We had a lot of drinks. We met awesome people. Yeah, unfortunately, Tino had to quit after about two weeks due to an injury. And the time with Tilo was hilarious. But that was not my Camino experience. My Camino experience began after Tilo had to go back home. But anyway, I don't want to miss the time. And the fun that you have when walking with a friend even multiplies when you walk in a group. You know, when I walked my first Camino in 2015, I started alone for about 10 days, it was until Burgos, I guess. Then I met Ellie, we walked some days. Then I met Marco, then Connie from South Korea, then Sarah from Italy. And we walked to Santiago in a group of five. It was an amazing experience. Now, if you don't want to walk alone and you're looking for a Camino buddy, don't worry. Start alone. Pick someone at Saint-Jean. There are dozens of them. Don't look for a Camino buddy on the internet. It's like on Tinder, you know? 
The only thing that you have in common is the date and the route. That's it. The rest can be quite awful. Now, when you pick your Camino buddy at Serre Saint Jean, you have dozens to choose from. You can check if you like each other, if sympathetic. You don't have that when you pick a partner from the internet. And don't worry, being alone on the Camino is much more difficult than finding somebody to walk with. Trust me. Whereas walking with your spouse can be nice, but can be difficult. You know, you always have to keep in mind, on the Camino, you're together 24 7 for weeks. The good, the bad, the ugly, every single day. Hmm? Sounds nice. Problem is, now if you're in a very good, healthy, deep relationship, you'll arrive at Santiago even stronger than before. Invincible. But if there are some, let's say, problems hidden under the floor, some unspoken things lingering under the surface, they will all come out on the Camino. Every single one of them. And there's a reason why many people start as a couple at Saint-Jean and arrive at Santiago separated, a single. It is what it is, it's not easy. Now people say Camino divides up in three parts. First part for the body, second for the mind, third for the soul. That's true. Why I think boundaries are fluent. Now, my Camino also divides up in three parts. Walk alone, walk with a friend, walk in the group. That's my perfect Camino experience. Now, whatever you decide to do, don't think in a way like, oh, this time I walk with a friend and next time I walk alone. Think about all this crap that happened in the last three years. Maybe there will be no next time. Maybe you don't have the opportunity to walk another time. So whatever you want to do, do it now. Don't miss the opportunity. Now, I think I'm done. Tell me, what do you want to do? What did you do? Did you walk alone with a friend or in a group? Or all of it? I don't know if you notice. If my picture looks a little different today, I'm on my new camera. Sony A7C. Full frame, 4K. Lens Samyang 18mm 2.8. Cinema is ours, my friends. Anyway. I'll show you some <laughs> random B-roll after that. Anyway, whatever you do, choose wisely so far. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned. Buon Camino.